Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Ellison. I'm an audiologist with Franklin Hearing Center. This is my practice. I've been an audiologist for almost 38 years. Hearing aids have been around for hundreds of years. Uh, obviously, people have had hearing loss for hundreds of years. Um, we've had the, the horns and the trumpets and that type of thing where people just basically stuck something in their ear and someone shouted in. The new ones have gotten so small and they're so sleek and, and comfortable that most people just forget that they're even wearing them. We have a couple of different options on hearing aids too. We can have the daily wear, which means that you take them out every night. Uh, if you're going to take a shower and you change a battery, you clean the wax off and put them in every day and wear them all day and then take them out at night. And then we have the extended wear hearing aids now that you wear 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's taken away any kind of daily activity that a person would have to do to fuss with their hearing aids and it just allows them to just get up in the morning, they hear like a person with normal hearing or very close to normal hearing would have. What's really nice with the uh, extended wear hearing aids too, they go into the ear canal so, so deeply you don't get a lot of wind noise across it. We don't have to turn the hearing aid up as much and so uh, the hearing aid doesn't get a lot of uh, background noise and it's a much clearer and cleaner signal for the patient. There are so many different types of causes of hearing loss in the United States. Uh, about 35 million people have a hearing loss and it can be something caused from medications that they're taking for other illnesses or diseases. Uh, it can be caused by noise. So if a person is working in a noisy factory, they have noisy hobbies such as woodworking, chainsawing, motorcycle riding, uh, that, those can all contribute to the hearing loss too. And a big a big component of hearing loss too is a hereditary factor where there's hearing loss in a person's family. A lot of times hereditary losses are also going to start to gradually progress. First you might have just a slight loss and then eventually it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. You don't want to wait to get help until it's really, really bad because then it's very difficult to be able to be rehabilitated at that point. If you think about when you're in a cave, for instance, it's very dark and you go out into the bright sunshine, you have to shade your eyes and let your ear eyes adjust. The same thing is going to happen with the hearing loss and you put hearing aids on. It's typically most people wait five to seven years before they get a hearing aid, even though they knew for that long that they had a problem. And so the hearing had been gradually going down. Now we suddenly put the hearing aids in and the brain doesn't know quite how to acclimate to all the new sound that's out there. And so it tells you this is all noise rather than, you know, a clock ticking or a dog barking or, you know, those types of things. Uh, one patient told me that she had forgotten that bacon sizzled and she just thought that there was a static in her hearing aid when in fact it was that noise. But the next time she heard it, she knew that that was the bacon. And so uh, we don't just turn the hearing aids on and the people go out the door and that's the end of that. It's a training process that needs to be uh, looked at every step of the way. So typically we'll fit the person for a comfort level so that they say, yes, I can handle this. I can tell that I'm hearing better, but probably not at the, the level that we're going to strive for down the road. And then we'll always see them back a week later. And then after that, we just schedule appointments as necessary. Typically, three to four months later, someone will come in and ask for the, the hearing aids to be turned up a little more, and then maybe six months. And then after that, things sort of settle down unless the hearing has changed at, at any point around time. If any of the information that I've been giving you makes you think about maybe I have a hearing problem or you just want to talk to somebody about hearing loss and what's available out there, please give me a call or just get on our website. There's a lot of information on there. It's franklinhearingcenter.com and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have.